الحمد لله <تصفيق> الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد <تصفيق> قال الله تعالى في القرآن المجيد بعد عوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألا بذكر الله تطمئن القلوب وقال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم مثل الذي يذكر ربه والذي لا يذكره مثل الحي والميت أو كما قال عليه الصلاة والسلام so the topic in hand is the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, of course, <clears throat> we need to acknowledge the fact that the more we remember Allah, <clears throat> the more we remember Allah and the more we do the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the more we purify ourselves and the more we purify our heart. As in one hadith, the Prophet wasallam told his companions, he said, <clears> O <throat> oh my companions, renew your iman. Revive your Iman. So of course the thing with Iman is that it goes up and it comes down. The Iman, the Prophet ﷺ said in the hadith, Al-Imanu Yazid wa Yanqus. That's why in one narration, <coughs> uh, a Sahabi of the Prophet ﷺ, he was once sitting in the gathering of the Prophet ﷺ and his Iman was at an all-time high. So when he went home, he thought, he, he thought, he thought to himself that you know, I've come back home and the Iman and the level of my Iman that I had with the Prophet ﷺ and in his gathering with the companions, my Iman has come down. So then he thinks to himself, he tells himself that maybe I have become a Munafiq. He's a true companion, of, he's a true Sahabi of the Prophet ﷺ. But now he's thinking to himself that I may have become a Munafiq. I'm probably a Munafiq, I'm, a prob I'm probably a hypocrite. Where with the Prophet of Allah, I'm a certain way. And then when I come back home, I've totally changed you know, I totally changed my, the level of my Iman drops. And this is what a hypocrite is. So he's sitting with his family and he gets up. And he says, Nafaqa Hanzala, Nafaqa Hanzala. He starts to say this. Where Hanzala has become a Munafiq. Hanzala has become a Munafiq. So the narration says where he now comes out of his house. And he's screaming this. And he's saying this. I have become a Munafiq. I have become a hypocrite. So Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu was passing by and he sees him. And he comes up to him, he says, what are you saying? He says, you know, I've become a hypocrite. He says, how? I know you're a true companion. You don't have any signs of hypocrisy. I can, I can, I can swear to that. I know you are a true companion of Rasulullah So he says, you know, the reason why I feel like this is because when we're with the Prophet wasallam, our iman is at an all-time high. It is as if we can see the Jannah, it is as if we can see the Jahannam with our own eyes. But when we come to our houses, when we come and sit with our families, you know, our Iman drops. My Iman drops. So he says this to Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu. Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu hears him and he says, Man, you're right. I feel the same exact way. I feel the same exact way. And then Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu starts to say this as well. That I have also become a munafiq. Can you imagine? He says that now I have also become a munafiq. Now both of them, they go to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam. They say, come to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Ya Nabi Allah, this is our situation. This is how we feel, Ya Nabi Allah. What should we do? The Prophet ﷺ is smiled at both of them. The Prophet ﷺ said that your Iman, it increases and it decreases. The way Allah Ta'ala has made the human being is that when he works upon his Iman, his Iman would increase. But the minute he puts it aside and he doesn't work upon it, it will tend to decrease. Just like how these majalis we have, when we sit in it, we remember Allah, we do the dhikr of Allah, our Iman increases. That's why the Prophet ﷺ says, your iman decreases, so revive it, renew it. So the Sahaba said, Ya Nabi Allah, وَكَيْفَ نُجَدِّدُ إِيمَانَنَا How can we renew our iman? How can we revive our iman? فَقَالَ أَكْثِرُ مِنْ قَوْلِ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ The Prophet ﷺ said, say La ilaha illa Allah, say La ilaha illa Allah, more and more. Bring the reality of La ilaha illa Allah inside of your heart. It's not just by you saying it, but bring, bringing the reality inside of your heart. We're acknowledging that Allah is there. The awareness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is something we lose today. We don't remember Allah. We've forgotten Allah. We remember everyone but Allah. <clears throat> we don't even know how to make dua to Allah. We don't even know how to do the dhikr of Allah. We don't know what type of dhikr we should do to revive and renew our iman. To rejuvenate our iman. To bring back our dead heart back to life. So it is very, very important that the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why the Prophet sallallahu said that the one who remembers Allah, the one who remembers Allah, and the one who doesn't, it is as if the living and the dead. The person who remembers Allah, it is as if he's alive. And the person who doesn't remember Allah, is that it is as if he is dead. 
So it's very, very important. One narration the Prophet ﷺ said that on the Day of Judgment, <clears throat> and I'm going to conclude with this narration inshallah. The Prophet ﷺ said on the Day of Judgment, it's getting hot now. And we feel it. The AC needs to be turned on. When we sit in our car, we make sure five minutes before we turn it on so we can sit in a nice, you know, uh, cool car. The Prophet ﷺ said on the Day of Judgment, the situation would be where the sun is a mile away. The sun is just a mile away. Imagine that. And people are drowning in their sweat. There is no shade. You cannot go anywhere to find any sort of shade. No, there's no building, there's no structure, there's no trees, nothing. The, is, the sun is right above you. So the Prophet ﷺ says on that day, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will call upon seven groups of people, seven types of people. And Allah ta'ala will put them underneath the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah Ta'ala will give them the shade of the throne of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Imagine that. سَبْعَةٌ يُظِلُّهُمُ اللَّهُ فِي ظِلِّهِ يَوْمَ لَا ظِلَّ إِلَّا ظِلُّهُ On the day when there is no shade except the shade of the throne of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. And in there, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, A person, one of those individuals, is he who remembers Allah. رَجُلٌ ذَكَرَ اللَّهَ خَالِيًا فَفَالَتْ عَيْنَا Very amazing, very beautiful hadith. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, and it's so amazing that you don't really need any money, you don't need anything to do it. You don't need anything to become in this, come, fall under this category. The Prophet ﷺ said it's so easy that every person can do it. What is that? A person who remembers Allah. A person who remembers Allah when there's nobody around him. Nobody. His wife is not there. His kids are not there. His parents are not there. His friends are not there. Nobody is there. It's just him and Allah. رَجُلٌ ذَكَرَ اللَّهَ خَالِيًا Nobody is there. He's, you know, by himself. It's just, it's just him and Allah. He remembers Allah in that situation, فَفَاضَتْ عَيْنَا And because he remembers Allah, he tears a little bit. He cries a little bit before Allah. Allah Ta'ala will call that person on the Day of Judgment and Allah Ta'ala will put him underneath his throne. Allah Ta'ala will put him underneath his throne. So that's why it is very, very important that we bring this habit into our life of the remembrance of Allah Ta'ala. That at all times when we are driving, we can remember Allah. Keep a tasbih. Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar, remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't waste that time, you know, in talking or listening to radio and listening to haram. No, spend that time in remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When we're alone by ourselves, connect ourselves with Allah. Remember Allah, Ya Allah, you've given me so much. Do the dhikr of Allah and you'll find that Allah ta'ala will renew your iman, will bring back that dead heart back to life, inshaAllah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give me and all of us the ability to renew our iman and to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that we can be amongst those individuals who are from the thakirin who remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ameen, ya Rabbil Alameen.